A year into the pandemic, new technology is helping ensure people who go to the hospital for COVID will eventually come out healthy. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper explains. It's been nearly a year in the making. First beginning medical trials to enroll more than 500 patients nationwide, including many at Atrium Health, to try the latest COVID-19 treatment called Lizinumab, also known as Lens. It's designed for people newly hospitalized, and results showed patients who tried the treatment had a 54% greater likelihood of survival without being on a ventilator. That success much greater than previous therapies like steroids and remdesivir. And that's very encouraging because we really haven't completely solved um, the, the sort of hospitalized outcomes that, that are happening even uh, to this day. Similar to remdesivir, the lens treatment is giving intravenously, but there are two major differences. First, lens can be fully administered in just one day with three doses given hours apart instead of over the course of several days. Another difference, the drug's overall function. Remdesivir is an antiviral. It directly attacks the virus. Lenzilumab deals with the overwhelming inflammation that often affects patients who are hospitalized with COVID-19. That means increased confidence in fighting the multiple variants of the COVID-19 virus too. And then there's the potential effect on those long haul COVID patients. So being able to get people to uh, leave the hospital earlier and not have to go on a ventilator is most likely going to reduce those kinds of effects. Doctors add this therapy can also be an option for those who aren't suitable for the COVID-19 vaccine for various reasons. We need to continue to be vigilant. We need to continue to develop therapies that can work alongside vaccines. And following the phase three trials, I'm told the next step is working with the FDA to get emergency use authorization. And if that's granted, Humanogen, the creator of the lens treatment, is prepared to increase its production. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.